Yes, this is the CHF JPY daily chat, and I want us to look at this and let's see what we think is going to happen during the course of the week. Now that um, we can see, first of all, is that we are on a hop trend. We have um, we have higher highs. We have higher highs. We are the lower high higher high a lower high at this point and then we had this this huge expansion that began in february and culminated at 136 area during the course of last month trade last month trading and since we price touched the peak at 136 we've been seeing a consolidation phase that looks more like a reversal setup now if we zoom in closely to what has been happening in the last one month? The first thing we want to notice is, okay, fine. We have an impulse leg right here. As we can see, that impulse leg we are priced grew about um, how many pips is that? I think, um, hold on a second. We had a growth of about, um, there are 10% there are about since, um, since the beginning of February and if we consider this impulse leg we know that after every impulse leg there is a retracement phase that might probably get into our golden zone area and what is our golden zone area our golden zone area is the 50 to 78.6 percent retracement of the previous impulse leg so with an impulse leg that started from somewhere around here from this demand zone here hold on let me give this a demand zone so we had a demand zone here and if we look at the impulse leg that started from this demand zone and run our fibonacci retracement too from that point we are going to be seeing and run it through the impulse leg we are going to be having um a golden zone around between the 50 and 78.6 percent retracement of that impulse leg which now gives us a new a probable probably a new demand zone or by opportunity area we are will be looking for the next trend continuation opportunity so with the label of this right here, um, let me let's put this inside and then let's give this. I prefer this to be in yellow. Okay, great. And we delete this. So, from the perspective on the daily time frame, we might be looking forward to a breakdown of the structure during the course of this week, where price retraces down into this fifty this um, golden zone area before we see a trend continuation to the upside however it is pertinent that we have a key level to guide us going forward so after pulling out my line chart I found a key level right at 132 area so if you allow me let's label this key level at 132 area so our key level is gold oh. And then we have it right at the bottom. Good. So we have a key level right at 132 area. And if we look closely to what is happening, I said since the price hit 136, since price moved, that impulse leg moved to 136 area, we saw um, a, cons a consolidation phase that looks more like a reversal pattern. And we have something like this at this point. So if we look at it, how do we know this is a reversal pattern first of all we could say this is a double top look alike at this point where price um we had this we had this peak then we had a lower high which could be our double top and as well with that in mind we could be having our key level at we have now the neckline of the reversal pattern right at 132 area which is also our key level at this point 
So with the reversal structure identified at this juncture on the market, we might be looking for a retracement phase where we'll be expecting a signal in the form of a breakdown of this key level, which is, which is also the neckline of the reversal pattern, a, a retest of this key level, or probably um, the bearish trend line identified that you can see on the charts with, on, with, a, with a red line and price move. With, um, we might be having a structure that supports a trend continuation to the downside from this area after which we see price move to the downside. And if price does that, we'll be looking at a profit target of about, um, how many pips is that from this breakdown? We'll be looking at a minimum of, let's say, 350, 350 300 minimum in that regard. However, after this being said, that a reversal pattern is identified, blah, 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 breakdown of key level, sending prices downside, the possibility of that, it is it will be appropriate that we also state here that considering a long-term bullish momentum on this chart, there is a possibility that price could, from this point, move to the upside, break out of that trend line, and we have a current continuation to the upside. Now, if we look closely into what has been happening since, since the end of March, beginning of April, we can see that price has been rejecting this area multiple time as soon as price comes down to that area it rejects it it rejects it as soon as it come down into that area and we can see that we had multiple rejection of that area around here as we can see one two three four five six seven eight nine like nine candles that's like nine that's like two weeks there about so what does that tells us it tells us that this area is more of a significant level that can be identified as a demand zone. So if we we, do, we call that a demand zone, then let's let's identify that area with 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 a symbol and label it um, a demand zone. So we have it right in the middle. So if this place can be a demand zone, definitely there is a possibility that price could probably do a reversal structure within this area during the week after which we see a breakout of structure, giving us a confirmation and retest of structure and then a trend continuation to the upside. So however, it is pertinent that we remain very, very conscious at this point as if we need to see a signal of a retracement phase, we want to see something that breaks through this demand zone then we are patient enough to look for structures that support a trend continuation to the downside. And if we see um, a reversal pattern within this area, then we might be looking for a confirmation in the form, a signal in the form of a breakout of structure and a confirmation at a retest of that key level to be to break that bearish trend line to the upside, thereby giving us an opportunity to take a buy opportunity on this one. So if you look close into what I've said so far, you realize how important that key level is at this point in the market, that 132 area. And whatever happens around that point will determine where price will be heading towards in the new week. So I would like to pause the video at this point. We are still, definitely I'm still going to give an update, a video update as soon as the market resumes. And if I definitely see a quick um, lineup that probably is going to give us um, a signal, then I will definitely share in the comment section below on my TradingView account. So um, on this regard, I'll pause the video at this point and let's see how price action reacts when market opens. So thank you and do have a wonderful day.